Hey everybody, it's Gypsy. Today is Saturday, August 10th, 2024, and it is time for my weekly gardening update. And what a week it has been. Very strange, very chaotic, uh, kind of exciting. Um, in Northeast Ohio, it is, we get tornadoes once in a while, but it's not very common. Um, on the other side of Ohio, where it is uh, flat, I think they get a lot of tornadoes. Over here, we're in the foothills, so we're at higher elevation, so we don't typically get tornadoes. This week, we have had several of them. It's been very weird. Um, wow, it was just sunny a minute ago. The sun went behind a cloud, um, and it knocked out all the power, I mean, in all of Northeast Ohio. So we're at the point where they have made progress. They called in um, electric companies, linemen from out of town and out of state. So they are making progress. I still don't have power, but many people do. So it did kind of get in the way of my gardening because I had to concentrate on other things, but I will give you an update. So here we go. Okay, so my cottage garden really seemed to enjoy the weather, all the wetness. Even I, I had my um, lavender in a galvanized bucket and it had holes in it at the bottom and I had stones at the bottom to give it good drainage. It was still getting too much water. I put it in the ground and it looks so much healthier. Uh, my lemon, uh, my lemon verbena is looking great. I hadn't noticed that. So anyways, my mint in the planter is kind of taking a hint, hit, uh, you know, it's still growing, but got too wet. So I'm going to have to take some time to prune this up. Pumpkins doing fantastic. Just, just gorgeous. Look how big they're getting. Um, this one is the first pumpkin that bloomed. Um, it took fruit and it's starting to turn color. That's the full size. It's a sugar pumpkin for baking and cooking. So I'm really excited. Um, I put a couple more small pumpkin seedlings in here kind of to, you know, extend my growing season. So this is the gourd plant I'm growing for my daughter-in-law. She got her first, where'd it go? Her first little gourd, oh, here it is. Right, right here. And I think I just saw another one. Oh, there's another one coming there. So her gourds are doing great. Everything, you know, it's just, I'll tell you, Ohio, Northeast Ohio is a good place to grow. Um, I, you know, it's just so easy. Uh, I thought I saw another one. But anyways, that's doing really good. So, in here, these two buckets, I planted, I sowed the um, Tom Thumb peas, okay? Now, those are the ones, these are snap peas. They only grow to eight inches. They are perfect to grow in a pot. So if you live in an apartment or a small space, perfect to grow on a patio, even indoors. I love these peas. So I have some in here. Now my potatoes, I had several. You know, I, I put a few in here. This side was already ready to harvest. So I took, you know, it had all, the leaves had turned yellow and brown and stuff. So I harvested those potatoes, they were very nice. And I took those out and I'm kind of leaving Hoping it gives this side over here a little bit more room. It is starting, the leaves are starting to turn. So I should have potatoes from that soon. I do have more of the Tom Thumb peas. So I think I'm going to prepare another planter and plant some more. What I'd like to do is I would like to save one of these planters um, to just save seeds for next season. Um, here's a little bit of this morning's harvest. 
Okay, so in the greenhouse. Now in here, what I am doing, now most of my tomatoes, I think I only have two that are determinate, um, are indeterminate, which means they will grow and produce until the first frost. So in here, I am experimenting with how long can I get tomatoes, you know, past the frost? Now, the only concern I have are those that are up against there that will probably cause damage. But I have some in the center, so that'll be a good comparison. I've also done experimenting with you know, starting seeds in the house in the winter, direct sowing in here in the greenhouse, and I've also done um, rooting. All work great, and it gives me different time frames for harvesting. These here are rooted ones, and I have a lot of rooted ones in here. These I started last winter. So any of them works well, depending on what I want to do. Um, my tomato slips, it's probably too late in the year for those, so I don't know what to do. But I did, I got a few tomatoes out of here this morning. Kind of rotates, like when I get tomatoes in the greenhouse, I don't get any from outside that day. Although it looks like I'm gonna get some probably this evening or tomorrow morning from outside. So, it's the greenhouse. Now, my son sent me this picture here. And he says, Mom, this is a good use for the greenhouse. And I said, that's not practical, because I want it for growing food. And he's like, oh, it's very practical. <laughs> anyway, so, we're going to go to the outside garden. doing very well. Now, after all these storms, I am a bit concerned about the condition of my cucumber plants. Because, you know, Tuesday, early Tuesday, looking beautiful, lush, and green. And it still is at the top, but look at the bottom. Very yellow. It's turned yellow. I'm assuming with all that rain we got, it got too much water. That's the only thing I could think of. So, I don't know. I'll see what happens with this. But anyways, my brassicas that I planted, these are the Brussels sprouts. And they, they're just doing really, really good. And my cabbage, I cannot believe, for the first time, this is like the third time I've tried planting cabbage. Look at this, doing great. Broccoli over there, wonderful. I think I'm gonna have better luck with fall planting brassicas than in the spring. Now, as you remember, these are all my pepper plants where they just stopped growing and the growth got stunted. I was very concerned. Well, now they're growing like crazy. Look at this. I'm so excited. My jalapeno. I think these are jalapenos. Uh, I don't know. It's a hot pepper. Uh, can you guys see that? It's hard for me to see. Got all kinds of poppers on this. This is my chocolate bell. Um, I think I just, I have a couple starting here. These are my green bell pepper, you know, my regular bell poppers. They're getting a lot. I mean, these really came around. I'm really excited. Oops. So, let's see. Over here, my lima beans. They had the most beautiful white and lavender flowers on them. Really pretty. They're really doing well. And I do have some little tiny pods on here, if I can find them. Uh, they're kind of hard to see right now. But... There, there. Oh, here's one down here. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, I'm getting my lima beans now. My bountiful beans, which is like a green bean. Well, it is a green bean. 
I planted those on July 9th and they are just coming along really, really well. Really excited about those. They're a bush bean, so that trellis should be okay. My uh, San Marzanos, I have been uh, harvesting these like crazy and more, more are there. I just had to tie them up a bunch this morning. But man, they are just really, really producing well. I'm pleased with these. Now this one, these are the Beefy Boy tomatoes or sandwich tomatoes. Look at the size of this monster. Can you believe it? I can't wait till that ripens. I just, I have a whole bunch of these. They, man, they just doing so great. I've got my Mexico midgets over here. I've got, that's, that's a Rosso Siciliana. Um, let's see. And this one, I'm thinking is a flamenco. Look at all those tomatoes on there. I mean, this is producing so, I can't see, you know what? I'm on a bad angle in the sun. Uh, this one here is a flamenco. It is just overflowing with tomatoes, overflowing. That's a determinant. And boy, does it produce. My asparagus, it's so beautiful. So beautiful, I cannot wait to spring till I can harvest. So yeah, I'm just, two plants producing at least two pounds every week of cucumber. So I'm impressed and I would like to increase my um, plants in my harvest for next year. And these are more tomatoes also doing fantastic. I mean, I'm just, you know, I've done gardening on a small scale before. This is a bit larger, well, much larger actually. And I had so much fun and I'm so proud of myself that next year I'm going to increase everything and I'm hoping to make a profit from it too. I nearly forgot to mention this, but I planted some fall peas over here too. Now back behind the tomatoes, those are my green arrow, arrow shelling peas. And over here next to my carrots that are doing great and nearly got drowned twice this week. They're doing fantastic. Over here, I planted my Amish snap peas too. So berries, of course, now that the rain is gone, I had to redust them with diatomaceous earth because the beetles love my berries. Because of the weather, I still haven't made the trellis for the red raspberries. And they, I mean, I think this weather got everything growing even more, and I really need to get on that. My wild black raspberries, it was one little twig when I planted, when I transplanted this in, it was May or June. Look how gorgeous this plant is. It's filled out, it's climbing. I mean, even if I don't get many berries, it's just a beautiful plant. Over here, oh my God, my strawberries. They love this weather. They're going crazy. Look at them. They just are really growing. And because of the weather, I did not get... I'm sorry, my camera cut out again. So I did not get to prepare another bed for my runners, which I will be selling next spring. Um, so that's pretty much my update for today. Despite the horrible weather, I just had a little thing, little things I had to mend in the garden and stuff. But things are going well, so. And look at this, this was the planter I got for a dollar. Look how beautiful it looks. It was half dead when I got it. So, I'm gonna leave you with that. Blessed be, and make it a joyful one.